Hello and welcome to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, we are going to look at how to do remote debugging of custom code in Fabric. By custom code, we mean the Java services that we write as part of the Fabric apps that we create and the preprocessors and the post processors that we create as part of the Fabric apps that we create inside Fabric. So inside these Java services, preprocessors and post processors, we write some custom code related to our application logic. In this episode, we are going to look at how to do remote debugging of this custom code that is running within Fabric context using the source code from Eclipse. I have installed Fabric on my local machine in F drive and this is the Fabric installation location and inside this location before we start a remote debugging we have to enable the Tomcat to enable remote debugging inside the Tomcat. For this once I have set up Fabric edit the catalina.bat file add these options that are highlighted here to the java underscore options inside the catalina.bat file as i am showing here so these highlighted options are the ones that i have added after setting up fabric on my machine Basically, we are setting port 1043 is where the debugger will connect to the JVM running and it will perform the remote debugging. So, these are the highlighted options that we have to add inside Java options in the catalina.bat file that is present as part of your fabric installation. After you add these options, start fabric by using the startup.batch file inside the fabric installation. I have started fabric after making the changes in the catalina.bat file after adding the options to the java options in the catalina.bat file and from the fabric console here is an app where I have attached a jar file processors.jar to one of the integration services inside that app to one of the operation inside this integration service i have added a post processor a class which is part of the processors that jar file that you have attached to this service so whenever we execute this operation as part of this integration service Fabric would execute the post processor that we linked to this operation after Fabric interacts with the backend system. On the response that the Fabric has received from the backend system, Fabric would execute this post processor. This is the custom code that we have written as part of that processors.jar file. Now we want to debug the custom code that we have written as part of this post processor that is running inside the fabric instance whenever we make a service call to this operation. Here is the source code for the processors.jar file that we have attached to the integration service inside the fabric app. So this is the Java project in which we have implemented the Java services post processor and pre processors that are part of that processors.jar file which we have attached to the integration service inside the fabric app. So we have opened this project inside Eclipse and right click on the project using this option debug as you can go to the debug configurations and under remote java application if you click on add you will be able to add a configuration under remote java application and here inside this configuration 
I have selected processors project as the source code that I want to do the remote debugging. And because I am running fabric on the same machine, I have given the host as local host and the port 1043 is where Eclipse would connect to perform the remote debugging on the processors.jar file which is running inside the fabric instance. Remember this port number is same as the port number that we have used inside the configurations which we have added to the Java options inside catlina.bat file in the Tomcat instance where fabric is running. So we use the same port number. And localhost, because my fabric is running on the same machine, once you have created this configuration under remote Java application, select the configuration and click on debug. This would make Eclipse to connect to the Tomcat instance inside which fabric is running. Now we are ready to perform the remote debugging. To validate this, I will invoke the operation under the integration service to which we have attached this post processor from the admin console of fabric. It's like invoking the operation from any client application. And then we will see how after performing the operation while fabric is executing this post processor, we will enable some breakpoints inside this post processor code and perform the remote debugging. Let us switch to the admin console of fabric and invoke the operation to which we have attached this post processor. Here I am in the admin console of fabric and I have selected the operation inside the integration service to which we have added the post processor. Now when we invoke this operation, after fabric executes this operation and fabric starts executing the post processor attached to this operation, now the debug points that we have put inside the source code, the processors Java project is hit and we will be able to perform the remote debugging. Let's go back to the Eclipse where we have the processor's Java code. And if you see here, as the fabric is executing the post processor, the breakpoint that we have enabled inside this Java code is hit and Eclipse is waiting for us to do the remote debugging. Click on this switch option to switch from the Java perspective to the debug perspective. As you can see here, the debugger is launched. The processor's configuration that we have created under remote Java application is launched. And now we are performing the remote debugging while this processor, the post processor is getting executed on the fabric instance. We can perform the step over, step into all these operations and we can do the remote debugging while the post processor is executing inside the fabric instance. You can also inspect each variable. Here body is a data set. Inside the body data set we have a number of records. And you can step over and you can inspect each variable and identify what is the value of that variable while executing the post processor inside the fabric instance. So until we resume and complete this debugging on the fabric admin console, because we have executed this operation from the fabric admin console, it is waiting for this debugging to be completed. If we go back to the admin console, we will see that it is waiting for this remote debugging to be completed.
and once we have resumed or completed the remote debugging we will be able to see the response that we have got after the fabric has executed the post processor and this is the response that fabric would send to the front end application. So in this episode we have looked at how to perform remote debugging on the custom code that we write as part of Java services, preprocessors and post processors that get executed within the fabric context. Thank you.